How many different hazard classes are there? 9. What placard must be used with an inhalation hazard load? Poison inhalation hazard. A truck carrying explosive have crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until the explosive have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. The shipper's package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to the regulations. The only exception is when the shipper is a private carrier carrying his or her own product. Which signals may be used to warn of a stopped vehicle that contains explosives? Reflective triangles. Class A, it's placarded as a placard, corrosive at 1,001 pounds. The transport index of a radioactive material tells the degree of control needed during transportation. A properly prepared uniform hazardous waste manifest must be signed and carried by anyone transporting a hazardous waste. An A or W. The first column of the hazardous materials table means this material is only restricted when shipped by air and or water. When is it necessary to ground the trailer? When filling or unloading any flammable liquid tank, ground must be maintained until filling hole is properly closed. The total transport index of all radioactive material packages in a single vehicle must not exceed 50. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class 1.1 or 1.3 explosives? The written route plan. On a public roadway with a placard tanker howling flammable liquids, when can you transfer from one tanker to another? In an emergency. If an A materials class is the word forbidden, what kinds of materials are you still allowed to haul? You can't haul a forbidden cargo. What is the shape and size of a placard? 10 and 3rd, 4th inch square or diamond. When handling packages of explosive, you must never use hooks or other metal tools. Which of the following, if required, must the shipper put on the package? All answers are correct. The name and address of shipper or co-signee the hazardous materials shipping name and identification number, and the required label. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fires unless you can safely pass the fire without stopping. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe a non-hazardous material.
Column one, or the symbols column, the I means international transportation. What action should you take if you discover your hazardous materials shipment leaking at a rest stop but there is no phone available? Send someone for help with all the necessary information. In what location must you keep your shipping papers that describe any hazardous materials? On the driver's seat whenever you are out of the vehicle. You must never smoke or perform any activity involving fire within 25 feet of classes 1, 2, 3, or 4. What is the purpose of a driver placarding their vehicle? To communicate risk. If you are already carrying 100 pounds of silver cyanide, what precautions must you take if you're given papers at a dock to carry a hundred cartons of battery acid. Inform someone and do not load the battery acid. The other two places where the hazardous material identification number must appear are on all bulk packaging and on the cargo tasks. When there is a hazardous materials emergency, what should you do? Do both of the above, prevent smoking and keep open flames away, and keep people away and warn them of danger. Whose signatures must be on a hazardous waste manifest? The shipper all carriers, and the receiver. To obtain a hazardous materials endorsement, you must know how to Placard your vehicle A shipping paper for hazardous materials must include Both of the above, page numbers if the shipping paper has more than one page, and a proper shipping description for each hazardous material and a shipper certification stating that they prepared the shipment according to the regulations. The driver must also always carry a dated certificate signed by the employer. This certificate must also be updated every Three years. If an X or RQ is in the HM column of the shipping paper entry, the shipment is regulated by hazardous material regulations. When there is hazardous materials emergency, you should All answers are correct. Keep people away and warn them of the danger and prevent smoking and keep open flames away. The placard is shaped diamond. Which of the following choices is a hazard class you are not allowed to smoke around? All the answers are correct. Explosives, oxidizers, 
and flammables. If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the carrier must report any spill of this material. Symbol column, the letter G stands for identifies the proper shipping name for which one or more technical names of the hazardous material must be entered in parentheses along with the basic description. Drivers of placarded vehicles transporting hazardous materials must stop to feet from the nearest rail of a railroad. 15 to 50 feet. Carriers must give each driver who transports class 1.1 or 1.3 explosives a copy of FMCSR Part 397. Animals and human foodstuffs must not be loaded in the same vehicle with poisons. A safe heaven is one place you can leave a vehicle unattended that is howling explosives. What is the best description of a safe heaven? Any property that has been government approved for this use. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The driver. You do not have a hazardous materials endorsement on your commercial driver license when you can legally haul hazardous materials in a placarded vehicle. Never. Nitric acid cannot be loaded below any other commodities. When shippers package the material, they are trying to make it easy to identify. To determine if you need to use placards, which of the following is not something you need to know? The manufacturing date of the material. Which of the following is not an acceptable type of marking for hazardous materials? Name in italics. Which of the following three hazard classes should not be placed into a temperature controlled trailer, one with a heater or air conditioner unit? Classes 1, 2.1, and 3. What are the major differences between cargo tanks and portable tanks? All of the above are major differences. Cargo tanks are filled while on the vehicle. Portable tanks can be filled either on or off the vehicle. Cargo tanks are permanently attached to vehicles. Portable tanks are temporarily attached. Portable tanks must show the owner or lessee's name on them. The hazardous materials table has columns. Eight columns. To communicate the risk of hazardous materials, shippers do all of the following except have their drivers text their locations. A hazardous materials identification number is determined by The shipper. If you have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo, what must you do before you move the vehicle? Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. 
You have a vehicle without racks to hold cylinders or compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are loaded upright or lying down flat and braced. When transporting chlorine in cargo tanks, what must you have? Both of the above. An emergency kit for controlling leaks and fittings on the dome cover plate and an approved gas mask. When can the shipping name or the hazardous material identification number be abbreviated on the shipping paper? Only if regulations specifically authorized the shipper to do it. Your engine runs a pump when you're delivering compressed gas. After finishing the delivery, when should you turn off the engine? Turn it off before unhooking the hoses. Which of the following materials are acceptable? Floor liners for transporting Division 1.1 or 1.2 materials. Non-ferrous metal. Where are the two main places that the hazardous material identification number appears? On the shipping papers and on the packages. You can haul 1.1 explosive with radioactive material. When fueling a placarded vehicle, someone must always be at the nozzle controlling the fuel flow. What is Camtrak's primary job? They coordinate and advise companies on spills. They also link up proper authorities with those companies. How many identical placards is a vehicle hauling hazardous materials required to display and wear? Four, one on the front, one on the back, and one at each side of the vehicle. With most hazardous materials, you may park within five feet of the road briefly if your work requires it. The materials that are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the road are Explosives 1.1 through 1.3 Who is responsible for checking to be sure the shipper correctly named labeled and mark a hazardous materials shipment. The carrier. There are three lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is regulated as hazardous. Which one of these choices is not one of these three lists? EPA, Dangerous Materials List. Who is responsible for safely transporting a hazardous material shipment without delay and keeping the shipping papers in the right place? The driver. When a spill occurs of an RQ substance the carrier has within to report the spill. Thirty days. You're going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and get the permits needed for the trip? Before starting the trip. A placard is required for a combustible liquid at 
more than 119 gallons. Column 1, or the symbols column the D signs mean Domestic transportation What is a technical name? The name of a hazardous material used in scientific journals and texts, recognized as its chemical or microbiological name. Which of the following hazard classes uses a transport index to determine how much of it can be loaded on a single vehicle for transport? Class 7, Radioactive Materials Which of the following are necessary qualifications for non-bulk packaging? All of the above, a maximum net mass of 400 kilograms, 882 pounds or less, and a maximum capacity of 450 liters, 119 gallons or less if used as a receptacle for a solid. A water capacity of 454 kilograms, 1,000 pounds, or less if you used as a receptacle for a gas. A maximum capacity of 450 liters, 119 gallons, or less if used as a receptacle for a liquid. Why does the government regulate the transportation of hazardous materials? because while being transported, they pose a risk to health, property, or safety. A properly prepared uniform hazardous waste manifest. Must be signed by each carrier transporting the shipment. Identification numbers are preceded by the letters UN or NA. The letters NA are associated with proper shipping names that are used where? Within the United States and to and from Canada. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within feet of an open fire. 300 feet. What type of fire extinguisher is required in the power unit of a placarded vehicle? A UL rating of 10 BC or above. To find out if a shipment includes a hazardous material, you should Look at the shipping papers. Cylinders containing compressed gases may only be loaded onto a vehicle without a flat floor or platform if the cylinders are. All the answers are correct. Loaded in an upright or horizontal position, loaded into racks attached to the vehicles, or in boxes that will keep them from turning over. You're hauling hazardous materials and you find out that one of the tires is leaking. You must stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Shipping papers must always be kept in one place when driving with hazardous materials. Wear one wearing your seatbelt. All answers are correct in a pouch on the driver's door, and within reach always. You have loaded a hazardous materials into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? Close all manholes and valves. Be sure they are free of leaks. The hazardous material identification number must be displaced on portable tanks, cargo tanks, and other bulk packaging. The regulations require black numbers.
100 millimeters. The Emergency Response Guidebook, ERG, does all of the above, contains an index of hazardous materials identification number, which is why you must label things correctly, was created by the U.S. Department of Transportation and is used nationwide and is studied by emergency personnel to help keep the public safe. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. Any amount of chlorine. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should keep all people far away and upwind of the accident. It is recommended that when hauling a load of explosive 1.1 or 1.3 to use the fuses instead of the warning triangles if in an emergency or breakdown situation. Falls. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? The shipper. Class 1.1 explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if the vehicle includes a placarded cargo tank. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosive 1.1 and 1.3. You must use explosives 1.1 placards. A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are hauling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as feet from the nearest rail. 50 feet from the nearest rail. The hazardous waste manifest should be tapped differently and kept on top of all other paperwork. Column 1 or the symbols column the plus sign means the proper shipping name with our regard whether the material means the definition of that class. How often should you check the tires on a placarded trailer that has a dual tires? At the start of each trip and every time you stop. Whenever you load or unload a cargo tank, a qualified person must be within 25 feet. Containment rules specify how to package, load, transport, and unload hazardous materials safely. Smoking must be at least feet from the most hazardous material. 25 feet. In the hazardous material table, column 3, any shipping name written in italics means it is in the proper shipping name. Those in Roman type above it are.